Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be going over possibly the best whole gun setup that I have ever seen. This little beast right here. So we're gonna go from tip to tail. Let's check it out. Let's start with the trigger mechanism right there. The trigger neck mechanism is a Hermes, all stainless steel components, housed in a pathos, kind of generic housed, generic uh, handle, which is interesting. Of course you have our safeties. Um, no butt, kind of assist there, no butt pl plate. Because this gun is so small, you could probably load it from the hip or just right here with no problem. So moving up, we have the Pathos Open Pro Laser, Pathos Laser Open Pro 60. It's a really, really short length. I think one of the shortest lengths that they make, um, if not one of the shorter ones for sure. Um, a really solid, sturdy, kind of rugged exterior for those of you that are familiar with the Open Pros. They have this kind of um, bed liner type coating not as coarse, but um, very rugged for sure, especially if this is gonna be used for hole hunting, you want that. And at the tip, we have this roller system here. This is a roller, as you can see. Um, benefits of a roller, for those that are not familiar, is that roller, you have pretension before you begin loading the spear gun, which gives you the ability to mimic a larger gun without actually having a larger gun. So for example, this is a 60 instead of this shooting like a 60, this could potentially shoot as like a 75 or give or take. So um, that definitely depends on the rubber, but that's definitely what the benefits are for a roller. I'm not entirely sure what brand of roller this is, but regardless, it looks really nice and it pulls very smoothly, which is important. Um, next, we have kind of following the line of durability with the Pathos um, tube is the shaft itself. If those of you that are not familiar, if you see that kind of gold bronze -ish tint, bronze-ish uh, tint to your shaft, it might be a Picasso gold. And it, what that is, is one of the stiffest and hardest shafts on the market, if not the sh stiffest. Um, and especially for a hole gun where you're gonna be shooting in holes, and places where fish can just thrash your shafts around, you definitely want a shaft like this. Such a cool setup. Um, the reason why it's so cool, obviously the versatility, it's a 60, so you can essentially put this anywhere as you're diving down, looking through holes. You could essentially have this way back here and have the muzzle right next to you and shoot relatively close quarters with this. You get the dexterity within your wrist. Um, very little drag, and with this setup, um, it's just amazing. And no reel um, for uh, a lot of uh, uh, hole hunting. Um, I would imagine you would not need a reel. Um, I would like a little bit of line, but maybe just hooking it onto a float is good enough. Um, but yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful setup. Just so purpose built. Um, you get the power of the roller in such a small package especially if you wanna go for some larger fish in those holes. You have the stiffer shaft, or the stiff is shaft, Picasso Gold. You have a really nice trigger mech, the Hermes trigger mech, and then you have this kind of ambidextrous handle, which you may not like because maybe you like the molded uh, pathos handles like this one here. You can see that right there. This is the generic, kind of very narrow is the fatty, more comfortable pathos grip. But if you're hole hunting, maybe you need to switch hands, go from the left to the right. You can do so very easily and comfortably with this setup here. And look how narrow that top profile is of this gun. So let's see how much this guy weighs. We're gonna zero out our scale right there. Let's get started. I'm gonna put this on the assist, let it hang. Once it is set, this is coming in at a whopping 2.42 pounds. So again, just extremely light. Just all the right ingredients for such a capable uh, whole piece right here. So cool. Um, but yeah, um, if you can build something like this, this is pretty much how I would build it. 
So whoever built this originally, kudos to you. Such a nice system and essentially, um, yeah, I wouldn't really do anything else. Um, oh, the rubbers. The rubbers are 14 mil for sure. Um, but yeah, just super easy to pull with ease. I'm pulling, the rollers are really nice, well, really well kept and just a thoughtful build through and through, um, but a really nice setup here. But this is potentially, I think, the best whole gun setup that you can get and build, essentially. Uh, maybe colors, if that's not your preference, but outside of that, just overall mechanics, this is this one's pretty tough to beat. But yeah, thank you for watching this one. Um, for those of you that are hole hunters, primarily, or love to hunt in holes, please leave a comment below. What do you think of this setup? Or what is your setup? And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.